YouTube channel. So today I'm going to do my project level up update. I'm very late to update you on this one. I was supposed to do it at the beginning of the month. I realize it is closer to the end of the month at this point. I've also just really struggled getting back into the routine of filming. So I'm going to change the timing of this project where I will post it more towards the end so that I give myself a whole month now to work on the uh, the next update because I do have an exciting one today. This project was created by Sophie Alexandra. I have her channel linked in my description, but basically it follows a no pan left behind, pan, pan those pat pan those palettes, <laughs> pan those eyeshadows, and a pan that palette, like all combined into one, which is a lot of fun, but also a lot of work. And you have to be super organized to be able to get through it. And I have, I have been struggling a little bit. I have been on level five with my Canyon from Alter Ego for a while. Last time I did roll in my Avocado Toast from BH Cosmetics as a level one, because I was kind of getting to the end of using this one. Now, I will say I have still not finished this one, but I do have my five pans that I have hit. I just haven't used all of the shades at least five times each. So I still have a few shades in here where I have to use them, I think up to four, four uses. There's somewhere I've only used it once still. So I still will keep this in and complete this and I'll show you the progress in just a second. But I'm really excited because I actually have been working on this and I did a really good amount of use on it before I left for two weeks. And I have been back for like a week or so and I have finished my goals on here. So I've actually completed level one and I need to now roll in level two while still having level five in. So yeah, it's just, it's been a mess. I've tried to film this video three or four times and I have just deleted it. I was like, I can't, I can't, I can't. I need, I need to rest a little bit. I need to like figure out what I want to do. So I'm here now and let's get into my update. I was hoping to have my nails looking nice for this video, but as you can see, they are like three week old nails at this point. I have one really long thumb and one short one because this one broke. And yeah, I really need to do my nails. So apologies on that. You're gonna be seeing them up close, up close and personal very, very soon. Okay, so let's get into my uses on the Canyon from Alter Ego. Very, very excited that I'm so close to rolling this out. I have been very sick of these tones. It's a very warm tone and I've been into cooler tones recently. I'm kind of wearing a warm tone today, but I've been wearing more cooler tones the last month. As you would expect, it's winter. That's kind of how I've been feeling. But anyway, this is what it's looking like right now. And you can see straight away, I have five pans in here. Can you spot the new one? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> um, this is the new one. It's called Russet. And I finally hit pan in it. I want to say, if you have not hit pan in Alter Ego mattes before, they are not for the faint of heart. They are pretty tough. They, uh, they're beautiful. I like their mattes, but they're not the easiest to hit pan on by far. They kind of, they're not like ColourPop mattes in that it just takes a lifetime, but it certainly takes quite a, quite a long time. So yeah, just bear in mind if you are planning to, uh, roll this into a project, any alter egos, I mean, I don't know, maybe this one is just specific to this one. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't hit pan in any mattes in other alter ego palettes, but the two mattes that I did hit pan in this one took me forever, and the shimmers were far easier to hit pan on. So shimmers definitely are easier. So had I known that, I probably would have just tried to hit pan on the shimmers and not even touch the mattes, but I didn't. Anyway, so let's get into my uses. So plateau I used once. I have one more use on that. Then we have Scorch, I use that once. I have three more uses. Then we move over to Blaze, I use that once. So I have two more uses. Russet, I use that eight times. And Hip Pan, as we've just seen. So that's super exciting. Cliff, I did not use at all. I'm not a fan of this color. It's like a goldy, brassy color. And I need to use it four more times. And I didn't use it at all this last time, so 
Moving on to the next one, which is Seer. I used that once, so I have three more uses on that one. Then Earth was the last, other last matte shade that I needed to use, and I needed to use it one more time, and I did, so that one's now rolling out. Then we have Coyote. I used that once, and I have two more uses on there. And then Rust, I used it once, and now I am done. So, lots of use on them, but the shades that I have left are really these really brassy orange warm tone shimmers, and they're all very similar to each other, aside from Plateau, which, is, which actually comes across more pinkish red. When you put it on, um, it has a little bit of flip, you can see it there. It definitely flips. But the rest of these, I'm not a huge fan of, and maybe this one is okay. But yeah, they're all just kind of very similar to each other and it makes sense why I haven't really gone into them and used them all that much. So I'm hoping that I can get the use on them all this next month and officially roll this out because it would be nice to not have two palettes in this project. I didn't, you know, foresee me finishing my level one so quickly, but I have. Level one is such a delight. Like it's a no pan left behind and just use each shade once. And honestly, I hadn't really dipped into a lot of greens recently, so this was a pleasure because I had all the greens that I needed to, to use, and I already had one of the shimmers that, I had kind of a dent in it already, and so I, I had a little bit of a head start with this. So anyway, this is my level one, which I have now completed. I'm going to blind you now. I hope it's not too bad. But this is what it looks like. So, if we get into my numbers, the avocado, I actually used that twice. So, that one I used twice. Then we've got pink salt, I used once. We have expensive, I used once. Spicy, I used once. Then we have lemon pepper, where I do have my first pan, and I used that seven times. Uh, in total, I don't know exactly the number of times. If I, if editing Gabby can do it, she will add it. If not, I'm lazy and I didn't do it. But anyway, so I hit pound in that one. So that's super happy because obviously I need, this is level one. I need to use every shade at least once and have one pan. So I've done that. So next up we have Avocado Toast, which I actually used twice. Then we have Ripe. I used that one twice. Then we have Hass. I used that one twice. We have Over Easy. I used once. Then we have, I put SF, it's Superfood. Superfood uh, is the next one. I used that one twice as well. And then Paprika, I used twice. So I kind of use all of these twice. <gasps> and I kind of did the same look every time. Uh, moving on, we've got Pit, I used that once. Then we have Green Juice, I used that once. Guac, I used once. Uh, extra I used once and then holy moly I used once because it's basically a black down there So I don't really use black eyeshadow. So I have finished my level one very very exciting So I'm gonna be rolling in my level two today and I was debating oh, you know I missed kind of my update earlier in the month Maybe I should just wait until the beginning of February to do this, but no, let's give me, give me a head start and then I'll just, I'll just post this later in the month. It's fine. My schedule will be a little bit different. I'll just post it later in the month and it won't be so bad. So yeah. Now I did tell you that I filmed this three or four times. So I have actually rolled a bunch of palettes three or four times, none of which I have been very happy with. So I'm going to be honest with you. I have kind of purposely, I mean, the reason I post, I didn't post those were for different reasons. I was just not in the mindset of posting it or editing it. And then just, I was like, no, 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 it's not going to happen. But I actually, um, I'm kind of glad that I'm going to roll another palette in because I'm hoping it'll be better than the ones that I rolled in previously. So we will see. All right. So here we have all of my eyeshadows, took away all my singles from here. So I shouldn't have any issues with that. If it is a palette in another project, I'll probably roll again. And this is the Huda Naughty Nude. Wait, Huda Beauty Naughty Nude. Okay, so I've already had this in this project and it was last year and I had it for my level two as well. I think it was my level two. So I am gonna be rolling again because I would like to work on a different palette. It's not, that would be a great one to do, but I've already done it and I kind of just want to, I want to keep this a little bit fresh and new things. ABH Norvina. Did I have this in, did I have this in this project? I can't recall. 
I don't think I did. Do I? Yeah, okay, let's, let's have a look at it. All right, I'm really stupid. I keep putting my camera in front of my drawers and then I have to open my drawers so the camera's in the way. I don't want to move it, so... Oh, that was a struggle. I had to squeeze my hand to get this in, but I I got it. So, okay, so this is, you all know what this is. This is the AVH Novena. I don't think I've had this in the Project Level Up project, so I think I'll keep it. It's got less shades. I will be transparent with you. The last time that I filmed this, which was I think a week ago, I rolled in my P. Louise palette, which has like 50 shades. And I really, really, really did not want to do that one. I just didn't. So this is a lot less. I'm happier with this decision. And I think it's fine if I roll out the Naughty Nude one from Huda Beauty because I had that in last year and I just want to keep it interesting. So anyway, the last time I worked on this palette was for this shade that I had in my Zodiac Panner, which I have really failed to do anything with. Um, that project's kind of been put on the back burner. But yeah, this one, I love this palette. It's been a favorite of mine since I took it off my mom and she didn't like it, so I was like, I'll have it. And I really, I really enjoy this formula was also a contender for my Pan Lamp palette for this year. So this gives me a good chance to work on it without actually working on it for the rest of the year. I just, I'm gonna use every single shade at least twice and get two extra pans. So I already have a pan in Dreamer, Wild Child, and this one, which is Celestial. So, actually no, Celestial was the last one. I don't know, one of these two were the last ones that I hit pan on, I can't remember. I think that, <laughs> Maybe I'll try to hit it. Okay, I'm definitely going to try to hit pan in base because it is the deepest matte so far that I have used. I really love rose gold, but the I don't really have a big dip on this one. I have more of a dip on this one, so maybe I could try to hit pan on one of these two. It's really only two that I need to hit pan on. It would be nice to hit pan on some mattes almost dropped it. It would be nice to hit pan on some mattes because, you know, just to balance it out a little bit. Otherwise, if I, it's a little bit too top heavy, I'll probably stop going into it once I've used up all of the shimmers, I'm going to be honest with you. So I should probably try, I mean, Passion, I do like Passion and it's a good deepening shade. And I usually use a smaller brush and so I'm able to hit pan that way because I'm more precise. So... There are definitely some options. I'm not going to say right away what I'm going to hit pan on because I think it's too hard to know. This is perfect for this time of year because we're going to be leading up to Valentine's Day next month. So I can obviously use this for the next month quite a lot. And I could probably pair some of these mattes with the remaining shimmers that I have in my alter ego. I, I do think I could do that because these are more like cool tone. This is a cool tone brown and I could use more of like a warm tone shimmer and kind of like flip it on its side or something. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm excited. I actually am excited. So I have these two, level five, level two. Hopefully I will have this done by next month and I never have to work on it again for a while. I do like this palette, but I'm really sick of it. <laughs> and then my Norvina, I, I love this palette. So I'm not... I'm not too fussed. I would have liked a new palette, to be fair. I do have a bunch of new palettes. I would have liked to do a no pan left behind on those, but I'll just have to do that in my own time in another life, in another project, when I am back to my filming schedule, which I don't even know when that's gonna happen. I don't even know when I look like right now. Hopefully I can actually edit this video and push it out and not have to redo this. If I have to refilm this for the fifth time, I just won't do it anymore. I won't do it and you'll just have to suffer it's just how it's gonna be anyway so thank you so much for watching like and subscribe if you'd like to thank you everyone for sticking around supporting me I know I've been MIA and my filming schedule has been just not consistent the last few months so you know plenty of personal stuff has happened and then obviously holidays Christmas work you know the drill life just gets super busy and sometimes I just don't want to be on camera I don't feel good about myself sometimes I mean lately I've had like my confidence has like 
been at an all-time low I would say so I'm trying to slowly build myself up to just not even care about it not think about it but you know it's hard right it's hard sometimes I can't help it I'm human I have emotions I'm emotional so <laughs> anyway thank you so much and I hopefully will see you very soon and yeah I'll just I'll post my next video on this towards the end of February I think that'll give me a good month to really work on it get get some good progress and yeah I'm not gonna be able to do level three straight away but maybe this will only take me a couple months or two three months you know something like that that would be great I don't know how to say goodbye goodbye bye 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 <laughs>